Hello there Aquarius, thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of January 18th through the 24th. Before we get started Aquarius, I do want to make a quick announcement. I do still have room in a couple of mentoring sessions coming up, um, group mentoring sessions. So if you're interested in participating in one of those to help expand your own intuitive ability or psychic skills, let me know and we'll get you plugged in with a time that works for you. Okay, so let's get on with your reading, Aquarius. On Monday, what I have showing up here is the Nine of Swords. This is just telling me that you're distracted by some kind of situation and it may be interfering with your capability of dealing with everyday issues in life. It could also possibly be interfering with your sleep as well. Typically, when I see this card come up, it does talk about um, something some kind of situation that's concerning us that we really don't have that much control over. So the best thing that you can do here is recognize, okay, what can I do in this situation and do that. And then whatever you can't do, then just you have to let that situation go and be whatever it's going to be and find a way to be okay with that, no matter how the chips fall. Otherwise um, you can keep yourself in this kind of stress for a very long time. And that's not good for your body or for your mind, either one. Let's move on to Tuesday, Aquarius, where you have the four of clubs showing up. This is somebody coming into the nest. This can be a reunion after a temporary breakup. If we're talking about romantically for couples, um, this also can come in as someone coming home from a vacation, coming back from college. This can be someone moving back into the home, back into mom and dad's home maybe, or back into the family home. Um, this can also be somebody coming back to work. Maybe there was somebody that had maternity leave and now they're coming back to work. Or maybe they were um, helping to um, get a new plant or a new store up and running and now they're back to their regular position. So it's just some kind of coming back into the nest or coming into the nest. Usually it does have to do with family, but this also can involve friends and neighbors as well occasionally. Now, Wednesday, Aquarius, you have one of the best cards in the deck. This is the sun card. I'm always happy when I see the sun card come up because um, when I see the sun card come up for myself, I know I'm going to have a fantastic day. And that's what I'm seeing for you Aquarians as well, that you're just going to have a fantastic day on Wednesday. To me, the sun card talks about um, doing what you want to do, doing it the way you want to do it, enjoying it. <laughs> and when you go to sleep at night feeling like, wow, I had so much fun today and I got so much accomplished all at the same time. It's just really a fantastic day. And that's what I'm expecting for you guys on Wednesday. Now, Thursday, Queen of Swords, this is someone that you are um, interacting with on Thursday. And the Queen of Swords, um, first of all, she'll be female for a lot of you. For some of you, this will be male. I don't like to nail down genders in general readings. You guys know this if you've been watching me for a little while. So we've got the Queen of Swords coming up on Thursday. This is someone you're going to be interacting with. This is a person who has seen their fair share of rough times and tragedy and even maybe trauma. And so I feel like you are dealing with this person on Thursday. And this is someone I feel like... Um, She's been dealing with a lot of negative in her life lately, and she is really getting ready to cut the negative influences away. She is getting on her feet and strong enough to say, you know what, I don't need that. I need you to leave me alone. <laughs> I don't need somebody pulling on my coattails all the time, so I can't take a step forward anymore. So that's kind of where she is coming from. And she's going to be interacting with you on Thursday. For some of you, this is going to be somebody who is saying, hey, um, you have to start taking care of you. You have to start doing your own thing because I have to start taking care of me. I can't always take care of you. I can't always help you. I can't always baby you. Um, for others of you, though, this is going to be somebody that is really... Um, looking at making this decision about somebody else or something else in their life. For some of these Queens of Swords, it's going to be about 
a job situation that just isn't working out where this lady does not feel like she can really express herself um, authentically in the work that she does for some it is going to be a relationship situation but she is strengthening herself up and she is getting ready to cut that negative out of her life so that she can move forward in a more productive and more happiness making way and so you're going to be interacting with her one way or the other on thursday either she's going to be sharing where she is and this is going to come up while you guys are interacting or she may be feeling like um, th there needs to be more distance between you and her or him could be a him or a her all right so let's move on to friday aquarius what you have coming up here is you have the six of cups and the six of cups is just telling me that you are looking back at some memories and looking back at those memories in a fond way um, you're appreciating those memories it's kind of one of those those were the days type moments like wow wouldn't it be great if things could still be like that now that type of um, looking back at old memories now on saturday what you have coming up is you have the ace of swords in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse just means that you are going to be passing along some good ideas to other people in your life now this can be anything from teaching your son or your little cousin or nephew or niece how to tie their own shoelaces this can also be doing a big training at work this can be having a big seminar and um, you know training the public but this is passing along good ideas to someone in your sphere of influence so this can manifest a lot of different ways obviously but um, you get the picture you've got good ideas you're sharing them by the way you're sharing them when you're asked to <laughs> not just because you can all right so let's move on to Sunday Aquarius what you have here is the Empress and the Empress just tells me that hmm what's going on here is this someone you're dealing with or is this you someone you're dealing with okay so this is somebody who is like I said earlier maybe male maybe female most likely female this is someone who is taking control of her life she is um, following her happiness or she's maybe learning to follow her happiness but she's developing that happiness type thing going on where she's just out there following her bliss where um, maybe she wasn't able to do that before or maybe she had some kind of circumstances that were holding her back before but on Sunday whenever you see her she is very much in control of her life or he is very much in control of their lives and very much doing the things that make them happy okay so that is your week Aquarius thank you so much for stopping by hanging out with me I do appreciate all your likes your subscribes your shares and your comments and I also want to say everybody I have just had such a fun time with these mentoring sessions lately all the people that come into them at all different levels of psychic and intuitive ability everybody from somebody questioning whether they have any ability all the way up to people who have been doing this professionally for a while and they're getting ready to go online all of this stuff is just fantastic fantastic stuff to work with and and to get to know all of you has been such a pleasure and such a joy and I'm just looking forward to who I'm gonna meet at the next one <laughs> who's gonna be next what are we gonna talk about there each mentoring session has been totally and completely different it's just been fun um, so and then the other thing is all of the people that I have that come in for readings all of my clients I got to tell you after I do a reading especially with a new person that I haven't encountered before I sit back and I just think wow where do so many phenomenal people come from I just have the most fascinating interesting wonderful beautiful spirited people coming to me for readings and it just never ceases to amaze me so I want to just take this moment to tell all of you whether you've been in a mentoring session or whether I've done readings for you thank you so much for letting me be a part of your life and also thank you for being a part of mine everybody have a fantastic week I'll see you back here next time peace out